guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Melissa if you're new here welcome hello um today you saw in the title I am doing a series it may not do every Saturday but it is something I wanted to try and it's called the alphabet challenge I started this for myself if anybody else wants to do it and stuff I just sat down gone through all my palettes and chose a palette by the letter first letter of the name of the palette and basically A is for blah blah blah, B is for blah blah blah. I'm not going by brand, it's just the name of the palette is what it is. So A is the first letter and that would be, I chose ColourPop of that palette. This was um, premiered in February for Valentine's Day. It's a really beautiful palette and stuff. But um, I basically have almost every single letter of the alphabet except Q and X. If you guys have any palettes suggested with Q or X, let me know because I haven't found any at all. <laughs> but I have everything else and I am still trying to change some because I did write this. I started thinking of this about three months ago, four months ago, and then I've stopped using a certain brand and I'm not going to go into it. But yeah, I'm, I found palettes to use. To replace those ones thank goodness and I'm kind of rearranging I may rewrite it but I'm definitely using this as my first one which is very pretty so let's dive in and see uh, what I can create with this beautiful palette it's going to be a very red red look because that's what the primary colors are so I'm gonna go in with cha-cha mm, which is a very grungy pinky color very pretty and put that right here see it's more of a mobby oh I have to sneeze oh hold on one second guys allergies <laughs> thank god it wasn't my squeaky mouse noise Oh my goodness, you guys will probably be laughing. Maybe I will do a smoky halo eye. Reddish halo eye. I'm just going to put this there. Oh, ooh, allergies. Just to color my brows in. Okay, so I'm going to use my, this is new to me, is a small shader brush from Lexi. So I don't want to go too heavy because its color is called Please Me. It's one of the darker reds. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to pack it on right here. I don't want it... I'm using the small one because I didn't want it too heavy. And this color I know is very rich. I will blend it out in just a moment with a different brush. I'm just trying to pack it on to that area in this area I can bring it down just a little bit I'm just going to wipe that one I just used off and I'm going to blend this out. I Sorry, my head it suddenly itched. No added product, I'm just 
trying to deepen it up with this a little bit. In areas that I see it's kind of lacking. My eyes are watering because my allergies are so horrible right now. Just wiping that brush off again, and I'm gonna go back in that one color that just, and soften the top up, trying to soften it up a little bit. I'm gonna flip around on that side, and I'm gonna use a little bit of that black just to. deepen up just a little bit. I will... This black is very pigmented and it's got like a shimmer in it. But as soon as you work it in and stuff, it kind of dissipates. I'm trying to make it rich. Using a similar brush, I'm going to use a little bit of um, stiletto and just work that right here to deepen that area. And I'm going to probably use this on the bottom lash area. Yeah, it's starting very dark. I'm going to grab my cut crease canvas, I'm going to use my finger, and then I'll, actually, do I, yeah, I'm going to be tossing this one out anyway, because it does not work very well, and it keeps breaking on me.
Okay. Um, let that sit for a few seconds. I'm gonna use my glitter glue. I'm gonna use my finger because I think I have a clog in the tube. Well, I, I need to fix. I think there is, yeah, because it's got like barely any. So I'm not gonna go like using those fishnet and rosque. Rosque. I'm gonna use those two. I'm gonna first put down uh, fishnet and then top it off with the other one. I'm gonna bring it all the way up. To go in with that other color and try to fan it out just a little bit. Ooh, sound like it. I'm gonna suddenly sneeze again. <laughs> oh god, allergies. Sorry about that, guys. I think I just smooshed it all up. I'm like being violently irritable right now. All right, I'm gonna go off camera real quick. Something on my waterline, something on my lashes, something on my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, in my inner corner, and I need to get my nose to stop. So give me one second. Okay, guys, so this is the vinyl look. Not bad. I like it. It's pretty. It could come out a little better, but um, mm. uh, the lashes I'm wearing are they're um from the same line the all that for the valentine's i chose babe Ooh, there and uh they're actually really really pretty they kind of poke me a little bit i think i need adjusted um my waterline is from la girl in champagne just add a little shimmer in my waterline and my lipstick is from color rain in cappuccino as i go with a nude lip it looks pretty good i like it um, my waterline, I used my highlighter, which is from uh, Lunar Skies Cosmetic in Stardust. I love this loose one. So beautiful. And it gives it a nice little pop of shine right there and stuff. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys would enjoy this little series I'm going to do. And if you guys want to do it, go ahead. Ah, more the merrier. I don't mind. Um, best thing to do is sit down, go through your palettes, and find... A through Z, write them down, because that's what I did. 
I just need to fix it up a little bit before my next one next week. And yeah, I do think I already have something. And it's going to be from Colourpop again. But yeah, um, but you know, I keep saying that a lot. Um, I, if you guys do like this, give it a thumbs up. I'll be very grateful for that. Leave comments, whatever. Um, like I said, if you have any suggestions on Q and X, that would be fantastic. But yeah, um, if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And that will be in my uh, about description box area tab. And um, I do try to air five times a week, give or take. Depends on what's going on. If I have any material to think of. That kind of stuff. But yeah, I hope you're all staying safe. And I love you. Until next time, okay, guys. Bye.